like either I'm psychic or I or my thought process is so similar to yours that I always end up think, saying the th very thing that you're thinking. How is that so? Because I'm rational. As I'm rational too? Yeah, but saying that you're comp I'm more rational than you are. Oh, really? Yeah. I can be slightly impulsive. Yeah. But our rationalities are similar enough in that I can actually predict what you're going to do. Yes. Yeah. Cool beans. Yeah. Can yeah. you predict what I'm about to do? You're about to eat a Hokkaido cheese tart. Oh, which isn't, a, which isn't a sponsor. No, no, no. It's just an impulse buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for being so impulsive. Anyway, this is the as yet undecided podcast in which we're kind of undecided about the food we're eating these days because you know we're getting food from all sorts of places um japan barrows and um with our conflicted hosts your conflicted hosts sorry <laughs> mike are you my host <laughs> yeah, mike yeah without yeah. Mike, oh yes with our conflicted host because you know mike is our host he we are recording in his bedroom yeah. Therefore, he is the host of this podcast. Me and I am just merely the, um, I am merely the parasitic guest. Oh no! Oh, I no. am the parasitic guest. No. Like, no? No, no. 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 I'm the parasitic host. Why is that? Because I don't offer you anything. You're the one who brings over the food, like a good guest would do. Yeah, <laughs> but I am merely following the rules of hospitality. You offer me your space, your personal space, your resources, we're recording this on your computer using your microphone, and I'm paying back with food. Okay, uh, okay because, because like... We're using your resources, and I'm just merely bringing content. Okay, yeah, yeah. Are you content with you bringing your content? Yes. Okay. Just we, we, furthermore, we're using your internet as well, okay? So, oh, yeah, you oh. are contributing to this podcast. You are not a parasitic host. <laughs> we're using your resources. And I'm just merely bringing mm. things in. Yes. <laughs> without you, this podcast cannot exist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, but without each other, uh, this podcast would just be an audiobook of me talking about random stuff for an hour. Hey, don't you already do that? On your YouTube channel? Uh, yeah, but... Um, if you follow me on Twitter... The Marnus. Yes. Um, like, I um, disabled all of my videos. Right, because you put them onto you, all, all of them onto YouTube now, right? Yeah, yeah, but... Like, yeah. Like, like, I, I would, like, what I did is I put onto private instead of public. I see. Yeah. So when I get my vision back, I will be doing walking and talkings. Yeah, instead yeah. of walking and cra instead of crashing and talking. Yeah, yeah. See, so, yeah. so once you get your vision back, you got to do your walking and talking as opposed to crashing and talking. Yes. As you currently now do. <coughs> Sorry. Yes. Yeah. There's um, something stuck in my throat. Oh. You, <laughs> because like, because because Sophie had her leadership course on today yeah a and the theme of of today was was orange no my team was orange <laughs> your team was orange and yet the only thing that you brought that was orange was the drink bottle my shoes what about the drink bottle the, my shoes and the drink bottle the okay. drink the drink bottle's been in my black bag the whole time so it didn't really <laughs> count the only thing that was orange were my shoes and everything else was an orange adjacent so we had the pinks, uh, my pink hoodie. Yes. And we also have this pinkish orange Kathmandu merino shirt. So clearly you are Sherlock from the 1980s. Yes. <laughs> and I will make you break out in hives if you hug me too much because um, this shirt is actually made out of genuine wool. Yeah. Yeah. With that being said, let's see if this Hokkaido fake cheese tart will also make us um, break out in hives. Yep. Yeah, yeah, this is the pretentious food corner segment of today. Yeah, pretentious food corner. <laughs> yeah, except this will be the except this will be the second to last one, so I think it's a little bit too late to call it that. <laughs> it's it's, it's called overhyped foods, okay? I know, but but you know, yeah, overhyped, pretentious. Mm. I'm not gonna call it Trump food corner. That's just a little bit silly. Yeah. Okay, so it's got sweet pastry, shortbread, savory filling. It's like a tart version of those um. Less, less snack, less snack yeah. cheese things. 
quite good. Pretentious those things. Yeah. The well, thing was, when the first opened up, when the store opened up, first opened up, there was a queue. Um, I would often see queues like the one we saw at the PB Tech for the oh, Black yeah, Friday yeah. sale. Except it probably happens once a week for these cheese tarts. And the demand's been so popular that they've actually that there's another cheese tart store now, and it's now where um, that pretentious gelato place used to be. The best gelato store in the world has now been replaced with a cheese tart oh, store. Oh, so that's what happened. That's what happened in its place. Yeah. So I've never been inside to have a look. I didn't know what it was. Cheese tarts. Ah, okay. Another cheese tart store. Mm. Man, this is good. I need this today. And, and how are you today? Good. I, I, are you ready for our quiz night tonight? Yep. Are we going to win? No. Yes. That was exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> are we ready? Yes. Are we going to win? No. <laughs> Frankenstein's army might win again. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Who knows? We're going back to Bluestone. Yeah. First time in weeks. No, 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 no on Hollywood, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> but there's always been sexual assault complaints, though. Yeah, I know. Bill Cosby, for, for instance, was sexually, was um, complained against bef when we were still in Bluestone. Yeah, but, you, you, you know, all of the stuff that's been bringing up lately. Oh. Back, okay. Last time we went to um, the Bluestone room, um, Kevin Spacey still had an intact reputation. <laughs> 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 Would you say that the house of house of his house of cards have collapsed? Finally. Yeah. <laughs> no more house of cards. Yeah, it, it, it almost makes me want to go back and watch um, K Pax. Mm -hmm. If you if you don't remember that movie, mm -hmm. it starred Kevin Spacey, mm -hmm. and he was an alien. Yeah. In a human body, mm -hmm. and he decided to eat a banana, including the peel. Yeah. Yeah. It seems a little bit. Um, Sexual salty. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> how about the sex? How about the how about the um, Nazi gay Nazi neighbor scene from um, American Beauty? Oh, yeah, that was suggestive. Yeah. Oh yeah. But it wasn't him. Oh yeah, it was him. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, him. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Uh, gay Nazi neighbor. But except that it was Kevin Spacey. That was the normal neighbor. And the um, spoilers. The neighbor next door, the Nazi neighbor next door, was a uh, gay. Yeah. Yeah. And after the re recent revelations, that puts the new the scene in a whole new light. Yeah. Uh, oh, and, and, yeah. How, and how are you, Sophie? Are, are you well today? Um, yeah, I'm better this week. Unlike last week, in which I descended into gibbering mess, mess, gibbering mess. <laughs> Yes, this podcast, this podcast is brought to you by the new material, Gibberish Mesh. Yeah. <laughs> um, pair it with Assassin's Creed oranges for <laughs> your best dessert ever. Yes, uh, yes, this week at Countdown you can get a kilo of Assassin's Creed oranges for $1.99 a kilo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we um, move on to... Oh, hey, you're supposed to put the kombucha. The kombucha's in that plastic bag in there in the fridge. We're not having kombucha today. I'm sorry. Yeah? I'm sorry, the kombucha's not in there. Oh, not anymore? Not anymore. Oh, that's good. Because you don't want kombucha cheese. Because someone is a little bit over paranoid Yeah. about... Kombucha food poisoning. Yeah. 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 So as soon as I received the package, yeah, 
this morning. Yeah. Because of Sophie's, you know, kubacha poisoning paranoia. paranoia. It's already in the fridge. Have you tried it yet? Yes. Is it good? It's about as mediocre as the other two. Oh my god, I thought you liked beetroot. I do like beetroot. That was mediocre beetroot. Yeah, but look, 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 Far look. out. But look, like, it smells like beetroot. Beetroot? It doesn't taste like beetroot. So it's a beetroot adjacent, not quite beetroot. Yeah. <clears throat> so, now that we've fin- polished off our egg tarts, well, you almost did. Yes. Well, take as long as you want, because honestly, that pastry is awesome. <laughs> I, I endeavour to have short pastry as crumbly and soft and tender as that. Okay. But, um, does that pastry remind you of my lemon meringue pie? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh my god, there's cheese bits everywhere. There's cheese. This podcast is brought to you by cheese bits everywhere. Mm. I don't think it's better than grated cheese. <laughs> so, do you like my... So, what's what's the favourite dessert so far that I've made for you? Wait. Well, brought to you. I've only ever made you one dessert, but I've yeah, given you several desserts. Yeah, yeah, that's all I was thinking of, like... Sorry. Yeah. Uh, let me clarify. What's your favourite dessert so far that which in which I've brought to you? Brought to you. Okay, okay. Well, we, we, we have to go through the relative options first. Lemon meringue pie. Yes. Tam slice. Yes. Um, brownies. Yes. A chocolate cake. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That, it cycles between these four. Yeah, because... because one, yeah. we have to let the audience know yeah. what was my selection. And two, yeah. I just wanted to make to make sure that it was verified. Yeah. Okay. Those four. Um, I would have to go with the meringue. Yeah? Well, thank you. Yes. Yeah, well, I'm terrified whenever I make any food that my friends don't like them. Like, they, like they just eat the food out of politeness. <laughs> and I don't like that because it's like, I want to give you a nice experience. I don't want to make you suffer. Oh, no, no, there's a difference. Yeah? Between <laughs> between being grateful and suffering. There's a big difference there. Yeah. It, it, it depends on what side of the cycle that you are. Yeah? So, like, you, you, you know, I don't want to make this analogy, but yeah. I have to. Go ahead. It's so bad. It's, this is hospitality etiquette 101. It's, it's like an Aryan Jew from World War Two. Yeah. So, like, great that you've got blonde hair and blue, blue eyes. Yeah. But you're also a Jew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all about the judgment of the authority yeah. on you at that time yeah. to say which which one they're going to put you in. Are you an Aryan or are you a Jew? Yeah, Exactly. Yeah. Funny thing is, Aryan actually means an upstanding person in Hindi. <laughs> I think it's Hindi or one of those um, Indian languages. I'm very sorry. It's either Sanskrit. No, Sanskrit. I think it's Sanskrit. Pre- I'll, I might do a Sophie's Correction on this. I haven't done Sophie's Correction in a very long time. Uh, okay. In one of those Indian languages, languages, Aryan means upstanding person. It does not mean white, blonde, blue-eyed, Yeah, but- psychomaniac. Yeah, but going back to 1930s yeah. Germany, yeah, yeah, it, it, it was labelled as being a good person. Yeah, well, here's another thing, though. I mean, the Nazi Nazi Germany had the they're the ma- they're the biggest sinners of cultural appropriation. Did you know that swastikas used to actually mean good luck, yeah, and that in 1920s, uh, like bottles of Coca Cola would have them because it's just. It just, it was like a full, full leaf clover back then. Yeah. But then Hitler ruined it. <laughs> he, and did you know that blue used to be the colour for girls? Well, I know And that. pink used to be for boys? I, I knew that. Yeah, pink used to be for boys because it was the colour of diluted blood. Guess, well, one theory on why that changed, there, there are two main theories. One the main theory on why that changed was because, um... Um, Hitler used to label gay people with pink stars. And the homophobes at the time who were in power were like, okay, we, we can't have men with, in pink anymore, otherwise they'll be like, you know, gay and they might spread their gayness. And so they decided to switch it to pink. Another, another theory was, um, who was lady, First Lady Bird? Bird? Bird Johnson, right? 
first lady bird johnson she used to, she used to wear pink all the time and that's how it got sent to the women okay yeah so but anyway pink is not a color for girls it's blue it's always been blue because of the virgin mary yes and uh you can either say hitler ruined it or um you could say first lady ruined it you know those traditions that we think are always were always there N never was there's, yeah, was. there's always been an origin and a place for a cultural tradition. Yeah, yeah, yeah there has been an origin as, as a tradition. Yeah. <laughs> Therefore, you must always challenge all of them. Like, just find out why they're there and whether they still have a purpose or, or use. Or a porpoise. Or porpoise, of course. Yeah. Like, or porcupine. Porcupine? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, shall we move on to pretentious food no two? Well, if you want to. Yeah, I believe, um, I believe for this particular podcast, it's um, brownie. Then, then on the next podcast, it's my selection. Now, <laughs> because this was sort of like Sophie telling me, yeah. literally, on the phone. Yeah. Then I'm going to Pharaoh's. You better make a selection right now. And you know what I did? What? I just basically went to the cookies and biscuits thing. Yeah? Of the Pharaoh's website. Yeah, of the Pharaoh's website. S selected it to... Price low to high. Yeah. And that was the lowest thing. And it was that damn expensive still. Yeah. Anyway, um, did you go? Did you search up the website of Wise Cicada? I think I did. Yeah, you yeah, said. I did. Yeah. I did. Please give me a breakdown of your reaction. Um. Uh, because you gave me a breakdown, but the audience needs to know because it's hilarious. I forgot what I said. Uh, uh, you, you, you're scared of the place, you might get catch a cold investment? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why cold investment? Maybe, <laughs> it, 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 it was sort of like, the type of people that would go there, Yeah. would talk about purely money. Yeah. Or spiritualism. Or spiritualism. But, you know, I just went straight for the money. Yeah. I, I, I would have thought that I would have um, signed something and then I got a mortgage yeah <laughs> i called it happy heaven yeah and instead of having a mortgage to get in uh you, if you have a mortgage you're too poor to get in you have to show like, like you have a million dollars in your bank account yeah 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 or, or pick, a, one, pick one either a gold or a platinum credit card or gold or platinum ring i mean that's how i got in i showed them my graduation ring <laughs> yes um what's the name of the thing again Graduation ring? No, I mean the cicada thing. Why cicada? Why cicada? Get 10% discount if you have a St. Cuthbert's ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my credentials, the fact that I went to St. Cuthbert's. Yeah. Yeah. Choose, pick a piece. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I don't want to go back to Why cicada again because that place kind of freaked me out. <laughs> it was like Stepford Wives uh, type place. Great. Mm. Great. Or even... On um, Wisteria Lane, mm. maybe. Yeah, where everyone's desperate. Well, yeah. My goodness, this is this is moist. This is sweet. This is quite nice. Yeah. Mm. This 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 thing literally melts in your mouth. So what is it, Sophie? It's a wheat-free brownie. Wheat-free brownie. And like that's not really a surprise because you can use all sorts of things as flour these days, yeah. um, rice flour, almond flour. Coconut flour. No. <laughs> I, I I'm sorry. I had to go there. <laughs> oh, wow. So what do you think about this whole change of net neutrality stuff, huh? They're trying to get rid of net neutrality. Yeah. No matter how many petitions you you sign, um, the Senate will still you still break down the neutrality uh, because the people within Senate, they they have um, motive to get to get rid of it. Yes. One very simple reason, money. Yeah. Um, this this thing might actually change. Why is that? Because I think the vote is after the Senate race in Alabama. Oh yeah. So I don't think that they will actually... Oh, it'll go to Pence, I think, mm -hmm. for the final vote. Yeah. Cause, because, obviously, 
<laughs> Roy Moore shouldn't get in. Just saying. Is he a sexist crocodile? Oh, yeah. Is he redneck? Yeah. Is he married to his sister? No, but he does cosplay as Yosem Mini Sam. He's married to his sister, isn't he? <laughs> No. I bet he's married to his sister. I bet he's married to his mother. <laughs> uh, or he's married to his first cousin at the very least. He was his own grandpa? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. His house moves but his car doesn't? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like like all the stuff that goes on like you rang a female student mm. at at school just to get with uh, yeah just it just like oh he's a rapist too lovely yeah if that's what I was meaning oh ring a 14 year old at school yeah yeah just to get sex with her well, well obviously I would think that he tried compensated dating yeah isn't that illegal she's under the cage of consent yeah I know right mm -hmm. wow yeah he must have met Okay, this is my theory on him. His, his first, his prince, his um, first wife is his sister. His second wife is his first cousin. His third wife is his daughter. Oh, I think of him like. Do, do, do you think he's a little bit like Craster? I don't know, but you, you know. He but, sounds a lot like Craster. But what, what you're saying is, it can't be an algebraic proof. Why is that? Because you're bringing so many different variables into the mathematical equation. No, we can't bring proof to it. Yeah. There's no proof to it. In fact, I'm just get, making fun of allegations on the fact that he's a redneck. Yeah. It's not likely that he's married to his close family members, but you just sometimes have to wonder. Yeah. Oh. Uh, how, how about his parents? Are they closely related? Does he look inbred? Well, I'm assuming that... I wouldn't know because I would assume that his parents are dead. Well, he certainly acts inbred. Yeah. But he is quite the oldsman now. Okay. Do you know Cresta from um, Game of Thrones? <laughs> You're asking the Game of Thrones question. Yeah. To a person who has only watched 10 minutes. I haven't watched Game of Thrones at all, and yes, I know what Cresta, who Cresta is. Crest is very famous. I have no idea. Okay, spoilers. Imminent. It's, but but so this is not very likely because everyone basically knows about knows about, knows this by now. But Cresta is very famous in Game of Thrones for being the bastard who marries his daughters. <laughs> the bastard. Her ba the bastard who marries his daughters. Not the barber. Not the barber, no. <laughs> and um, this is what happens. Um, he and his first wife, who uh, are probably not related, or probably are, probably was his sister, um, got down, procreated, had got, a, got down, procreated, got down. Okay, okay. Sophie's two words of the day. Yeah. Got down. Procreated. <laughs> what do you want me to be? What do you want me to say? No, no. Then we're not gonna end this out. <laughs> well, like, just don't make fun of it then. No, no. <laughs> Then don't, make, then don't make fun of it. <laughs> okay, so got down, procreated, um, had some daughters. Okay. And then he, his wife probably died, or he probably procreated with his daughters, with his wife still alive. And subsequently, his daughters produced more daughters. And then he screwed those daughters too. And then it goes on and on and on for about five or six generations. Is he is he related to Harvey Weinstein? Maybe it's just an ancestor. <laughs> I, do, I had to ask. I had to ask. He, well, I mean, they look similar. Just an ancestor, probably. But, you, you know, you know with, with all of the stuff that's been going on. Yeah, as it turns out, any middle-aged, um, high-powered high -powered white male in Hollywood is a pedophile or a rapist. Yeah. You, you, you can make an assumption now with the string of allegations that's going on. I'm not sure either to be disgusted or scared. Why not both? I, I tend to get angry. Yeah, but you, you know, it, well, if you know me well enough, I go way past angry. 
Yeah. Right and right. No, 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 no. I, I mean, like, past angry, mm? not the part of enraged. I'm yeah. Like, uh, like, um, go past. You can be because, like, because with death. Yeah. Right. You go denial, anger, mm. bargaining. Yeah. The other one. Yeah. And acceptance. Yeah. Depression. Oh yeah, yeah, depression. The other one. So like, I, I'm a, I'm halfway between depression and acceptance. For me, um, I'm not in the denial phase. I'm in the disappointment phase. <laughs> I am deeply oh, disappointed with oh, Hollywood. You, you are the worst parent. Why is that? I am not angry with you. I'm just disappointed. disappointed. <laughs> I'm just very <laughs> disappointed in you. Oh god. But but the same there. Yeah. Because anger kind of real, kind of indicates hope, you know, a hope that you can change. <laughs> Whereas um, disappointment means that actually there's no hope for you for, of you changing. Yeah. yeah. So, so have you received your exam results yet? No, twenty seventh. Okay. Law takes that long because they have to get it moderated. Oh yeah, yeah, but yeah. Externally, externally mod- moderated to boot. Well, well, that's the reason why you have. Yeah. Um, a, when you have a large amount of class. Yeah. Um, you would have like three or four markers. Yeah. And they would get together and then they would moderate it. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, yeah. So, like, some people may scale you higher, some people scale you lower. Yeah. But you want the mean and the standard deviation. To, to be, be fair. Yeah, to be relatively the same. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. Because that takes all the um, implicit bias out of the equation. Oh, cool. So, um, how would you get rid of implicit bias when you're marking? Well, you can't. You can't? You can't. How can you minimise it? By doing exactly what they're doing. Oh, I see. Getting multiple people to mark on the same thing. Oh, uh, well, yeah, but like, sort of like... Um, to, because, because you have to, because of it being implicit bias... Yeah? There's going to be inconsistencies regardless. Yeah. So, like... If you marked, if you got the same, if four people to mark the same thing yeah. four times, you're going to get four different marks for four di- completely different reasons. Yeah. So, yeah. So, like, besides of marking every assignment four times, mm. it'll be like, okay, mark it once, and then the four markers will get together. Yeah. And say, oh, this person deserves one or two marks because I was a lot harder than the average. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. That's usually how it goes. Talking about truth and justice and, say, marking or things. Justice League. Should I go watch that film? Because um, on Friday I'm going to watch the film. And it's currently a toss-up between um, Murder on, on the Orient Express, Justice League, <laughs> and yeah. Thor, Ragnarok. Okay. Uh, well, 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 considering that me being a pauseman, yeah, I will not watch it until it comes out on on the DVs. Yeah, um, I I would well, you only have uh, one selection. I only right? have one selection. I can I, I no, I can probably go to the theaters twice. Okay. So, so um, for this one, should I? I've got three choices: Murder on the Orient, um, Thor, or Justice League, and I can only watch two of them. Um, well, based on my re- recommendations... Yeah. Take out Justice League. Take out Justice League. Yeah. So, what have you heard about it? Um, well, at the... Um, at, over this weekend... Yeah? It is the highest box office of that weekend at 98 million US dollars. Yeah. Um, but I guess it's competing against Thor, right? No, 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 no. The, it, it, it is outside of the is two that... weeks since Thor. Oh, I see. Um, even though it won, yeah, for the week it hasn't. They were projected, yeah, to get between one hundred twenty to one hundred thirty million. Bomb. Yeah, it could, um, worldwide it's yeah. a little bit better. Yes, it's about two hundred and seventy million. How? What was the budget? Three hundred million. So here's the thing. They have to make 1.5 times more than the budget for them or, to break or, or, even. Or even twice. Even twice. Yeah, well, a, tr- well, a traditional rule is that a film has to break at least at least 1.5 to two times 
the production budget because of marketing yeah. as well as merchandising. Right. So the budget was $300 million. Yes. Yeah. And as it turns out, the Wonder Woman so far is the only successful D- um, DC film. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you can thank the directress, the directrix, Patty. Is it Patty? Patty who? Um, I don't know the name, but I know it's Patty. Yeah, I know it's a Patty. Do you think they'll bring her back? Considering that she's like the only successful director? Yeah, but, well, mm-hmm. one. Yeah? Well, I think it was a good plan from DC to actually put in a female director yeah. for a female superhero film. Yeah. Right? Right. I know the whole Snack Snyder thing, that couldn't be helped. And of course, um, Zack Snyder, he. I've heard that there's controversy that he started to make the Amazons more sexy. No, no, but no, no. I'm, and I'm, I'm like, what? What? I saw the I saw the production pictures. And I'm like, why? No, no, I, I, no. I, I, mean, I mean, the whole fact that what's been going on with his family lately. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. So, so like, everyone's been asking for his cut of the film. Yeah. So you think Zack Snyder could have done a better job than Joss Whedon? No. You, well, well, they want. Snick Snick Snyder's cut of the film before Joss Whedon got a hold of it. Oh, yeah? So, uh, So we might end up with two editions, like um, Batman vs. Superman. Yeah. Because the the theatrical theatrical cut of Batman was apparently crap. Batman vs. Superman was apparently crap. But I enjoyed the director's cut immensely. Yeah. Yeah. So we might end up with, like, two versions of um, Justice League, just as with Batman vs. Superman. Yeah. And do you think they'll bring Patty back? They'll bring Patty back for two. Yeah. For WWE 2. Wonder Woman 2. Yeah. Um, but they will get, um, what's his name? They'll get him out. Who? What, whatever his name is. Joss Whedon? No, no, no. Zack Snyder? No, no. It's um, one of the producers. Yeah. Um, is, oh, um, Brett Radner. That's yeah. his name. Um, he got done with sex. Uh, he is um, accusations of sexual assault as well. Oh no! And his company produces the film. I'm just wondering how many losses can um, DC take before they have to bail out of the whole superhero film. Um, let's just. Well, I'm assuming yeah? that Wonder Woman would be most likely it. So they'll only just do Wonder Woman films from now on. Well, they'll probably do at least. One more. One more Wonder Woman film. Because just they're trying to replicate, replicate that success. Yeah. Yeah. Because honestly, though, they can't quite compete against Marvel, can they? I mean, well, you know how DC only got this one great film? Marvel's fi- Marvel's only got two bad films. And that's it. You, you, you know, the whole fact is that you can't really call them bad films either. What? The Marvel, the Marvel bombs? Yeah, you can't even really call them bad films either. Okay, so they're just below below usual standards. Yeah, it's like getting like an this it's like getting a B grade when you usually get an A grade. Yeah, I see. So, so yeah. Age of Ultron wasn't as bad as people say it was. It's just compared to the other stellar Marvel films, it just didn't do so well. What what Marvel did yeah. really well? Yes, is is that they've made nineteen films now. Yeah, and seventeen of them has been huge successes. No, or, or even that. We haven't even got to the main part yet. That's part three, isn't it? The the Infinity Wars. Yeah. The, well, that, that'll be film 20. 2020? No, 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 no. No, the 20th film yeah? will be Infinity War. Part one. Yeah. So so all of these 19 films yeah? have told a story yeah. within the actual plot of the film. Yeah. So it'll be, so it'll be um, <clears throat> 20 and 21 will be the penals, will be the ultimate and penultimate films. No, no, no. I mean, like, the, those 19 films yeah? have led to this 20th film. In the 21st? Well, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you know, they, they're still there storytelling. Yeah. You know, telling the story within the movie. Yeah. Even though it's, it's a subplot. It's yeah. a sub subplot. Yeah. But we've been all been waiting for this moment. Yeah. But how did they manage to make 19 films that has that's been... How have they managed to make 17 films out of 19 that have that's been really successful? I mean, I don't get it. Not a lot of people can do that. No. no well, you know, that's why I'm giving credit to Marvel. I mean, that, that's amazing. Um, no, wait a minute. What's Black Panther? What's What, what film number is that? 
Yeah, well, technically that would be film 21. Black Panther... Wait. I thought they were going to, they're going to release Black Panther before Infinity War. It doesn't matter. I thought they would. But then again, that's, um, their, their timeline has been really screwed up as well because um, the, um, the Marvel films have been broken up to, into three phases, with um, phase three being the Infinity War. Uh, no, the end of phase three being Infinity War. Um, they actually, we're technically in phase three right now, but they recently released Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which was supposed to be a phase two film, but that was released two or three, three years after phase two officially ended. Yeah, yeah, but so their timeline's a little bit screwed up. <laughs> Yeah, but, yeah. but, but it, it doesn't matter, but they're yeah. still, you, you know, that they are still advancing the story forward. I see. Which, in any... You know, or any or cleaning up plot holes. Yeah. I mean, they're great. I mean, with Marvel now, we, do, we don't care if there's plot holes in a particular film, because we know it's probably got to be um, cleared up in another film. Yeah. Exactly. And if there's a plot hole, we just think, uh, we either need to watch a past film to understand that, or we need to wait for a future film. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so like you have to watch yeah. all nineteen Teen to understand what's even going on. Yeah, yeah. Or you, or you can watch the main ones. I mean, I do watch the main ones, so I still understand what's going on. Yeah, yeah, and also the TV shows. Yeah, but and it, well, that's where Marvel got a little bit too far. Yeah, I mean, apparently, um, uh, Agent. Agents of Shield. No, no well, Shield. Well, Sh Agents of Shield is apparently quite good, and also Agent Carter. Yeah, but yeah. As well as Jessica Jones was apparently quite good, but um, that but, that newest series was no. The, yeah, but the, you know, in Marvel's eyes, they would be considered to be failures. Yeah, they yeah. Agent Carter, Luke Cage. Luke Iron Cage Fist, was Iron Fist was apparently nah. You, you, you know, all of those are considered to be failures. So. Yeah, but Agents of Shield is doing quite well. Yeah, not really anymore. Not and not anymore. So somehow the Netflix um of the whole Marvel franchise just somehow failed recently. Yeah. Okay, so but the film, the, but the main stage is the films, and the films are still doing quite well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And um, do you think it's interesting that with the Black Panther they finally subverted the whole everyone is white in the films? It's like now everyone's black. Oh. Africa's no longer a tin pot little country. Little, an African country is no longer like a tin pot little country. I thought you were to say, you know, African films are not a tin pot too anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the same. yeah, I, I'm just referencing um um yes, Mr. Severe. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh my, oh my goodness. Um, so. We'll call well, it there. No, one more question. You haven't answered it. Should I watch um Thor Ragnarok or Justice League? I've already, I've already told you. Oh yeah, Thor Ragnarok. Thor, Thor and... Murder on the Orient Express. Or, or, or as someone called it, Murder on the Asian American Express. <laughs> nice. Who said that? Oh, I, someone did, and I just laughed out loud. I'm like, really? Any, anyway, you know... <laughs> so, go watch the film, but made with, with our boy, Taika. Yeah. 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 Anyway, um, with that being said, please submit your film recommendations <laughs> to... As yet undecided at gmail.com or you can tweet them over to me. I'm I'm at Sophie9799 on pretty much all the platforms apart from Instagram. Thank you, Russian Sophie. You you know, I, I have a lucky literal Yuri Euro situation here. Yeah, you do. You do. And it's I do. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Except we haven't met and we don't have an intense rivalry. Not yet. Not yet. I wish <laughs> I do not wish to have an intense rivalry. And you can contact me on the Marners. T H E M A R N U S. Yeah. Well done. Yes. You actually spelled it right this time. What do you mean? Well, there was a typo from the last podcast, but it's okay. Blame autocorrect. Blame autocorrect. Yeah. <laughs> and on that note, I'm blaming autocorrect again. <laughs>